Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about DocuSign and more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do, you, how do you cancel your DocuSign subscription? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna cancel your DocuSign subscription? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you know that you're not gonna be doing any transactions for the next month or two, so you don't wanna pay that monthly fee through DocuSign. Whatever the case is, is a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the DocuSign app. It's yellow and black one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to go ahead and open up my DocuSign now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my DocuSign. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to cancel your DocuSign subscription, I want to let you know there's actually two different ways to do it. And that depends on how you signed up for your DocuSign membership. Now, if you signed up for DocuSign through your Apple device, then the billing is actually handled through iTunes. So that cancellation process is going to be pretty much the same. It's a little bit different. And I'm going to get to that when we get to that point. So first, off what you want to do in order to cancel your DocuSign subscription, click on this hamburger menu here on the top left, these three horizontal lines. All right. So once you click there, you're going to see these three options. And in order to cancel the monthly membership to DocuSign, click on account. It looks like a little person next to you. Okay. Once you click there, you're going to see pricing information for DocuSign. And I want to let you know that I actually signed up for DocuSign using my app. And because of that, the pricing and billing goes through iTunes. Also, before you decide to cancel your DocuSign, if you're not using it as much and you just want to kind of downgrade your plan, you can do that here and just choose a different option. However, in order to cancel your DocuSign subscription, click on this line right here called manage account. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see these two options, close your account permanently or manage your plan. So like I said, I actually opened up mine with the app store. So once I click on this button, it's going to route me over to my iTunes store so I can go ahead and cancel the fee that's billed to my iTunes every month. However, if you signed up for DocuSign in their website directly, then that means that your credit card is going to be attached and all you're going to do is same thing, click on manage plan. Once you're in there, you're going to be able to go ahead and cancel your subscription for DocuSign. But if you're on the iTunes version like I am, let me go ahead and click here and show you what it looks like. Okay. Once you click there, it automatically brings you to the subscriptions that you have with iTunes. You can see my DocuSign account right here, $34.99 per month. So in order to go ahead and cancel that subscription, just click on the DocuSign line right here with the little image next to it of a downward arrow. Okay. So here it brings me to the cancel screen for iTunes. And in order to cancel your DocuSign subscription, click on this red cancel subscription button. Next, you're going to see this pop up confirming that you want to cancel. Also, you do have access to DocuSign subscription up until the time that you paid. You're not going to get any refunds, but you will get the time allotted that you had paid for for DocuSign up until this date that's listed right here. If all that looks good to you and you'd still like to go ahead and cancel your DocuSign subscription, click on confirm right here on the bottom right. Okay, next you can see the page refreshes. It lets me know that my DocuSign subscription is going to expire on July 16th. Up until then, I'll still be able to use my subscription with DocuSign. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to cancel your DocuSign subscription, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.